If you come back to your Tesla and you've got a ton of sentry mode footage, you don't want to sit in your car for ages playing through the footage and it's always a little bit fiddly. So today I'm showing you a brand new app called Perception which allows you to view your sentry mode footage directly on your iPhone and your iPad. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. You've got back home and you've got some sentry footage or dash cam footage that you want to view. First of all, you have to take your little thumb drive out from your Tesla. So let's do that. Open glove box. Once open, you'll find your USB thumb drive right here in your glove box. Let's take it out. Okay, so I'm back in the house ready to check out this footage. But before I show you how this works on the iPhone and the iPad, I just wanted to let you know, this is not a paid video. No one's paid me to talk about this, but the owner, Ryan Bourne, did reach out to me via email. He basically bought a Tesla Model 3 and ran into a problem where he had one of those uh, crash for cash type events where someone tried to basically get money off him and he has his sentry mode footage and just wanted a better viewer a better way of getting the footage from your tesla and maybe emailing it to the police or viewing it so you get just a better view of what's going on so i just want to say thank you to ryan for sending this to me this is not a paid review so all of my opinions will be honest but let's jump in on how this works Okay, so we're back in the house and there are some additional things you will need to make this work. But first of all, we have our iPhone and you can use an iPhone or iPad. I'll show you the iPad version of this app a little later on. We've got our USB thumb drive from the Tesla Model 3. And then you will need the device to actually connect the USB thumb drive to your iPhone or iPad. Now, what I've got here is a lightning to USB camera adapter from Editor's Keys. And then for the iPad, I've got the Editor's Keys USB-C um, adapter, which has three regular USB ports, an HDMI connection and SD card connection as well. So super handy if you actually want to connect SD cards or other USB devices like microphones to your iPad. First of all, I'm going to plug this into the iPhone and show you how this works on here and how great this app is. Okay, so let's start off with the iPhone and the app here is called Perception. So what I'm going to do is open that up first there we go. And you can see when we get to this welcome screen here, it says plug the USB drive into your iPhone. So I'm going to plug that in here like this. And then I'm going to take my Tesla drive and plug it into this device here. And there we go. You can see it says get started. So let's do that right now. And you can see I've got a Worsley event here. I'm going to tap that to show you what happens. So we've got the all of the cameras here, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, often on the Tesla you can only see like tiny versions so we can watch the whole thing play back at once. So I'm going to skip forward a bit because this is when I was coming back to my car and you can see me here running to my car to pretend to break in. Watch this. And this is really cool. We're actually seeing all cameras live. So uh, if I tap the right camera I can jump to that and make that full screen. I can jump to this camera, make that one the top there full screen. I can see the rear camera. I'm going to come around here to the rear. It's going to change to the rear camera. You can see here. And uh, let's make this full screen, shall we? Pinch to view full screen. Let's try that out. And there we go. Just full quality footage of your dash cam directly within your iPhone. Let's change the view again to the front. There we go. Just look at the quality of that. How cool is that? Okay, so that's how it works on the iPhone. Let me show you on the iPad so I can show you this on a bigger screen. I've got the editor's keys dongle and the USB thumb drive. Let's plug this in here. And now let's plug this into the side of the iPad. It'll just make it a little bit easier for me to show you this off. Uh, let's click get started. It says uh, tips, device lagging during playback, change your settings to only play the focused video. USB drive not detected, make sure you can see your drive in your files app. Uh, event is corrupted, missing parts. All sounds good. So let's add an event. I'm going to add it from files. What you'll want to do is make sure you might see your locations here and then you'll see your Tesla drive. So I'm going to tap that. I'm going to click Tesla cam. Uh, I'm going to click Sentry Clips and I'm just going to click Open on there. And that should load the one from Worsley that we looked at earlier. So I'm going to tap that. Uh, we can essentially play this through. I know that I came in about here to pretend to break into my car. Let's play this a bit, a bit further down. Here we go. Let's play this. Again, you can see me running towards the car here. Actually, a really, really good way 
to view the clips. We can see that I'm at the front of the car here and then I go to the right, so let's tap the right and it's gonna play this full screen. So really, really handy. If you just want a really easy viewer, I go around the back here and you can view all the cameras at the same time, which is what I really like. Now, here's the next thing. Let's just say that I was actually breaking into the car right there. I could now share this by tapping this up here. And then we've got the option to do a combined video, which is gonna create a folder of all of the segments and create one folder zipped up. So you've got all of your video files in one place. And you can either just do the front, the rear, if you know that was what happened there. In this case, I'm gonna do all views. You've also got the option to do raw, which is untouched event footage segments zipped for ease of sharing. So I'm gonna keep the combined. Let's export that and save that to files. Okay, so let's take a look. These are the clips exported full size uh, so you can view them and maybe send them on to the police. So you can see here, I've got each clip in full resolution and I can easily now email this or upload it online, which is super, super handy. Now what I've done here is I've just opened the entire folder on my USB drive and you can see I've got all of these ones from today. So you can see I also did a little video of me breaking into the car earlier from underneath the garage. You can also use your driving dash cams as well. So let's look at this one here where we're driving along. I honked my horn and all of a sudden you've got these people walking out in the road here. And that means we've got all of that footage saved from every angle and we can view it directly here on the iPad. Let's view another one here. So uh, let's take a look at this. Maybe when we're driving down here. There we go. That's when the got away. We're continuing driving down here in Salford and just a, a pretty cool way to view your footage. So this is pretty cool. I'm one of those people that comes back to the car. I'll have a ton of sentry mode footage. And to be honest, I can't really be bothered to sit there and go through it all. And also I find that when you view the footage within your Tesla, when you drag the little bar across, it doesn't always skip to the right point and you, you seem to spend ages actually trying to get to the point where someone is actually doing something to your car. So actually being able to come home or just sit in your car and actually use it on the iPhone makes it a lot, lot simpler. Also, another thing is that when I'm sitting in the car with my wife, maybe we've been to the supermarket and someone has been tampering with my car or the sentry mode has just gone off on its own. She always nags at me for sitting there looking through 16 clips because usually nothing happens. It's someone walking past where they're shopping and it sets sentry mode off. So this means at least while she's doing something else or I'm at home, I can check all the sentry mode footage and just check that no one tampered with my Tesla. Oh, it just went really dark in here. So I've just had to quickly run and turn the lights on. So that's a quick overview of the app. I will be uh, maybe looking at this more in a future video and maybe even get Ryan, the developer, on the channel so we can talk about it in more depth. Now, just so you know, this isn't a free app. This is a subscription-based app. So let me know what you think of that in the comments section below. Of course, I'll be linking this video. I'll be sending that to Ryan. So if you've got any comments or questions, what are the things you like about this app? What are the things you don't like? Maybe there's things you would like to see added. Put those in the comments section below and I'm sure the developer will get to see this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and check out my other Tesla videos up here and I'll see you in the next one.